Inclusive political participation is a fundamental political right and is crucial to building stable and peaceful societies and developing policies that respond to the specific needs of younger generations and the country. On Monday, February 21st, the Media Development Initiative facilitated a media briefing on youth participation and engagement in the lead-up to the 2022 national general elections. Yan Ambassador for the UN Population Fund, Bronwyn Kili, contributed to the discussion by highlighting the programs being facilitated with the aim to inform and educate Yan Papua New Guineans on the power they hold as citizens of a free and democratic nation. The best we can do is facilitate for them to, to have that information and to, to be in a position where they're able to meaningfully participate. Um, because in order for young people to meaningfully participate, they need to know what their rights are, or how the processes work, why it's important to them as young people. Transparency International PNG's Michael Arnold spoke on the organization's primary focus, which is to ensure youth make informed choices to ensure effective and meaningful participation. While the elections are important, as I mentioned earlier, for making sure that the right leaders uh, voted in to Parliament in order to represent the voice of the people. Um, the integrity of the process is also very important. They have to make informed choices. And elections are an important part of the democracy. As much as they're eligible to practice their rights to vote in the elections, it's important to make sure that they do it the right way um, so that we can ensure um, that the outcome is one that's reflective of the voice and the will of Papua New Guineans across the country. Thank you. The main challenge highlighted in this dialogue centered on information and the accessibility to accurate information that hinders effective participation. Meantime, the 2022 national general elections will commence with the issue of reads on April 28, 2022. Mary Stella Kelaton, TV1 News.